So the last place that we left off on was the Lesser Demon Champion Scroll. And I believe we ended the video with 3,800 kills. And I was still pretty hopeful that we'd get it under 5k or at least around 5k. And it just didn't work out that way. I ended up going pretty dry. I'm talking around 12,493 kills dry. Which was very painful because this was probably the worst one that you could go dry at since they have a lot of HP and they are the highest level of all the monsters. And right there you just saw me get a rune spear which is pretty rare, kind of like the dragon spear. So I was pretty annoyed when I got that instead of just getting the scroll, but we did press on and eventually we did get the scroll. Now even though I was on 2200 worlds, I was actually still getting attacked by... It would seem like it was always at least two people that would attack me at once, and since it was multi, it was pretty hard to survive whenever you got attacked. Now thankfully I didn't lose too much, I lost a couple cannonballs here and there, nothing too crazy, but the annoying thing was once they found me, I mean they knew that I was there on 2200 worlds and they knew that they could go back there. And it just became less AFK since I kind of had to watch out for them and have that teleport ready. So I eventually decided to move on to a different spot for Lesser Demons, a safe spot where I could completely AFK and not worry about it even though it was less kills per hour, at least I could just chill. And that spot was under Karamja Volcano and I believe it took me less than 1500 kills to get the scroll so maybe I should have started there. But with that being said, we now have all the scrolls and we can go ahead and challenge all of the champions and claim the cape that is rightfully ours. And here is a look at the loot from this grind. Now there is one loot tab missing and that was at, I think it was 1,442 kills that are missing from this. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I know that people have been saying that I can log into Runelite so it'll save my loot tracker, but I just don't feel like it because I don't want to have to reset up all of the plugins that I have. So I'd rather not do that, it's fine. Uh, maybe in the future, but right now I'm good. And here is some of the XP that I gained. Well, yeah, most of it. Again, I am missing that one where I had 14, 42 kills, but yeah, this is a good chunk of the XP that I got during this grind. And on the second one, you can see that I do have uh, other combat XP, not just range XP, and that is because of the demons that I killed in the Karamja area with my melee setup. <sighs> So finally, the grind is over. I am so happy that I'm done with this. Honestly, I, I thought it was going pretty well, you know, getting all these scrolls early on. But the last two, oh my god, we went so dry on those. And the lesser demon scroll, I was... <laughs> I was starting to think that we were never going to get the scroll. It, it was the worst one to go dry on, and of course we just had to go dry on it. But we've finally obtained it, and I am ready to get this champion cape out of the way. So, the cool thing about these scrolls is that we get to do a little champion fight for each one of them, and there's restrictions on the different fights, so we'll be using a nice variety of different gear throughout these challenges. But, the important thing to note is, it's finally over. <laughs> Well, not quite, but the hard part is taken care of. And honestly, I, I'm i sick of lesser demons. I have no words. I just, I don't ever want to see another lesser demon again uh, for the rest of my RuneScape career. So, yeah. Alrighty, so I've grabbed a couple of items to complete some of the scrolls. Obviously, this probably isn't the most efficient thing, but eh, it doesn't matter. We're just going to have fun with it. And we don't have to do all the fights at one time, so I'll just be doing a couple at a time. And if I need to rebank or get a different setup, then I will do that. But for now, this should be good for the first three champions, I believe. So the first one we're doing is the Imp Champion Scroll, and the only rule here is that we can't use any special attacks. And there's the Mighty Champion, the Mighty Imp Champion, level 14. And let's just quickly fight him have a very nice battle oh he has 40 hit points okay so he's actually pretty strong he looks pretty menacing and he teleports like the other annoying imps great that was such a great fight and there we go there's the first challenge out of the way they take our scroll and yeah pretty awesome 
It, there's a tip. I mean, it's not really a tip, but if you, for whatever reason, want to keep these scrolls, you, apparently you can actually drop them before you kill the monster, and you'll be able to keep them. Although, you won't be able to do anything with it. If you show it to this guy, I think he takes it because you've already completed the challenge. So, yeah. We'll try that right now. The next one is the Goblin Champion, and that is only magic attacks. So, I brought some runes for fire surge but i want to see if the trident of the swamp works by itself as a magic weapon so let's try it out yep it actually does work i think yep all right so i'm going to drop the goblin champion scroll just to show you that you can keep it or maybe not maybe i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure you can keep it if you drop it there yeah all right so we get the rewards and we can pick up the scroll and keep it if we wanted to, but I really don't care for it. And if you tried to give it to this guy, he just says you've already defeated the champion, the challenge is void, and he takes it away from you. So, yeah. The next one is the skeleton champion, and that is only ranged attacks. So I'll be switching to this. Alrighty, so the next one is the Zombies Champion, and for that one, it just says no magic attacks, so we should be good. I'm going to switch back to the melee setup. I should have brought a Super Combat Pot for some better hits, but this would do fine. Oh, there we go, he's dead. A 49 to finish him off. Easy. The next one is the Giant Champion, and this one is only melee attacks. A 45. Oh, this guy's massive, actually. And he's dead. Okay, well, that was easy. It kind of sucks because, I mean, you, you expect this big fight. You know, you spend countless hours grinding for a scroll, and then the fight's over in less than a minute. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's very anticlimactic. The next one is the Hobgoblin Champion, and this one is no melee attacks. So I can just switch to... Let's do Mage again. Level 56. Oh, he's got range, it seems like. Looks pretty cool. And just like that, he's dead. Alrighty. Next one is the Ghoul Champion. This one says no armor or inventory, only weapons. Okay, so this one we actually have to go bank. So I'll save that one for later. Uh, the next one after that is the Earth Warrior Champion. And this one is just no prayer, so we can do that one just fine. Alright, and we'll be using Mage for this one as well, because why not? And if we turn on our prayer, it turns off. I believe I mentioned you're not allowed to use prayer. Pretty cool. Oh, he's got a cape on. Very nice. Oh, he actually looks pretty cool. Very unique. I wish I could move my camera further down, but it doesn't let me. That's a pretty cool avatar. Or character. Something out of Dark Souls. Next one is the Joker, and this one is no ranged attacks, so we can use magic again to open this up. And we can use magic, so why not? Or prayer, I mean. Prayer and magic. And this guy's actually pretty big too. He's like the giant. Now this one was another annoying scroll to get. I believe we, we went over twice the drop rate, I think. We had like 10,000 kills or over 10,000 kills. So this was our second... Second worst one, I guess you could say. Alright. Next is the Lesser Demon. And this one is also no armor or weapons. Only inventory. Alright. So now we're ready to do the Ghoul Champion. And again, this one is no armor or inventory. Only weapons. So I'm going to drop this here. Drink that super combat, equip the weapon, give him this, and let's go in there. And let's fight this guy. One shot, one shot, one shot? No. Oh, okay, we couldn't even if we hit our max. He has 100 HP. The ghoul. Another interesting character model. I like it. But like the other monsters, he is uh, no match for the AGS. I'm sorry. 
I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you... He's a champion, but I mean, he's not acting like one. Anyways, that is the ghoul champion done. Alrighty, we have our lesser demon scroll. And we have our inventory. I don't think I'm gonna need the food, but I mean, I'm not really sure what to expect. I have not seen these fights before, so who knows? This demon might be very strong, but I mean, we do have protection prayers, so we should be fine. Again, the only restriction here is uh, no armor or weapons. Drink this. And f oh, okay, he smacked like a truck, okay. Is that magic? Oh, he has magic and melee, right? I think he's alternating between attacks. I think. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Oh, nope. Okay. So yeah, I guess it was a good idea that I brought food. I'm going to protect melee since I probably have... Oh, never mind. I was going to say pro because I have better mage defense, but he's still hitting pretty hard. I might have to leave. Oh, my prayer is about to run out. Oh, God. Come on. Come on! Oh my gosh. Finish him. I get, oh god, hold on, let me just do this real quick. Okay. I'm getting smacked around pretty, pretty nicely. Come on, just kick him! Kick him to death! One more! One more! There it is. He's dead. He is dead. Alright, hurry up, let me get my cape back. Now, the Lesser Demon did use two different attack styles, so I imagine this guy might do the same, but I am not sure. We'll just see. Leon Decour has issued you a challenge. She has stated there will be no items allowed except those you're wearing. Alright, let me drink this real quick. And let's fight. Challenger is ready. Alright, let's do this. I'm assuming he's going to use melee, but we'll see. He's level 141. And we hit an 8. Okay, terrible. And a 5. Terrible. No wonder the AGS is crashing in price. Oh, and a 42 regular smack. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, this guy is way easier than the Lesser Demon. And he is also wearing my cape. That's my cape. And he's dead. Just like that. And just like that, the nightmare is over. And we finally have our cape. Adventurer, you have defeated me in battle. For this, I congratulate you. Please accept my cape as a sign of your accomplishment. You're damn right. I earned this thing. Fair and square. Let's get out of here. I want to get a better angle. There we go. There it is. The champion's cape. We are finally champions. Oh my god. It, it feels so good to have this. The amount of hours that I spent killing demons in the Revenant Caves was just unbearable. I was starting to lose it, but it's finally over. Was it all worth it? I mean, it depends who you ask. Me personally, I'm just happy that it's over. So yeah, why not? Why not? We can also come over here and look at the walls. They have banners of all the champions that we've killed before this was empty. So it looks really nice now. And I, I really wish that we could have these in our player own house. I think that would look pretty cool. I don't think you can have them in your player own house, but that would be pretty sick to have a, a room dedicated to have these banners hung up. I like the imp banner. This is like the old school imp, like the old school, old school imp. Very nice. There we go. That's where it belongs. You mount your cape before display. There it is. Hours and hours and hours of work in one little cape for absolutely no one to see. Well, I mean, if people ever enter this house and they come over here, then they can admire it. But yeah, um, I guess if you ask me if it was worth it, uh, for me it was. I mean, like I said, I consider myself a completionist and I like going for items. So, yeah, but I mean, for the average RuneScape player, probably not. You're going to spend a lot of money on cannonballs and other stuff. Oh, don't even get me started on the blowpipe. I'm pretty sure I used a bunch of scales there. And then I also used a bunch of, like, blighted super restores whenever I was in the ref caves and whatnot. 
and super combats, but I mean, yeah, it's it was worth it. Why not? Got some nice XP in the process. We're at 448 million. I'm not even sure how much we were before we started, but I'm pretty sure we got a decent amount. So, yeah, I'm happy. That's another item for the collection log. I think we can check it from here. Yeah. Oh, there's a champion's log too. He looks very sad. That was that was me. That was my face when I was at Lesser Demons for countless days. That 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 face right there is the exact same face that I made. <laughs> but now I'm a lot more uh a lot more happy. I'm like this guy right here. <laughs> I'm like the giant. I think that's a happy face. Yeah, that, that's my face now. Or maybe... No, that's too evil. Yeah, I'm, I'm like the giant right now. Anyways, it's done. Collection log. Other uh, champions challenge. There it is. Green. 11 out of 11. All the scrolls and the champions cape. I am very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, or this series, I should say. I really enjoyed making it and going for this cape. And a lot of you have been saying how you'd like to see more videos like this where I go for uh, collection log items or just like progress videos. And I will definitely make some of those in the future. But I also want to con uh, continue the series where I do... Okay, get out of my house. <laughs> I also want to continue the series where I do those money makers. So it'll be a mix of both, but... Yeah, I'll definitely do more like collection log progress type videos in the future. So yeah, be on the lookout for those. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.